get it out. The show has begun. It is starting right now. Here we are. Here we are. We are Ninja Butterflies, episode 15. Not sure how I should have ended that. That was, but scary. That was good. That was, <laughs> uh, those good monkey sounds? Yeah, they were good. I haven't made that noise since like, I was a kid, I think. <laughs> I make it every morning <laughs> when I wake up. <laughs> we are on episode 15 of Ninja Zar Butterflies. Halfway to 30. Whoa. Wow. This is so fun. This is Such so fun. Great, that's like the it's like the couples that always say like, "Oh man, we've been we've been together for seven and a half months, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> thirteen weeks." It's like we're just counting them up. Let's get a let's get a um. I haven't looked. There, someone sent a question. I haven't opened it yet. Yeah, we've got a list um, of people. Some people have just been compiling all the yes, questions so, we've been getting in. So we're just yes, gonna pick one randomly. Pick one. So let's get like a little beat going for the question. Boom. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. We got a question. Our question is going to be. What? What? Uh oh. Is it heavy? Kind of scared. Um. Okay. Wait, what's the question? Does Kanye have a point? No, 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 not at all. Yikes. Kanye, uh -oh. Kanye is in some. Stop talking. Some muddy Kanye, water. Yeah. Let's just, Terrible. let's take a social media break. Maybe Kanye. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> Golly, roll the intro. He does not have a point. It's scary. <laughs> Did I say ninja? I meant butterfly. The butterfly is no doubt one of God's most beautiful. Has an empty mind. You learn martial arts! Fuck it, Jonathan! Hello! Welcome to the show! Hello! <laughs> hey, Lil! Hi, guys! And we're back together because we're one big family and we love each other and we sit down and record our voices for entertainment. This has been so fun. So fun. So fun. What a ride. We have, I have um, a lot to talk about. I need to start getting better. A lot of the things I want to talk about aren't funny. But we can find the funny. That's the thing. Okay. Like, like, yeah. like that's because I'm, I'm a big true crime guy. So I've been trying to figure out, yeah. like, how can I find, how can we talk about things, but then we find the funny in it? That's the half the fun. All right. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's start this off Ooh. with um, Have you heard of the zombie virus? I think that, I thought that was a meme. <sighs> nope. Well, we're talking about viruses. Don't scare me. What's happening with the zombie virus? It's. It's so fun what's happening with the zombie vi no, no, no. Uh, virus. Tell me, where's it started? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I think it's in Russia. The, it's a, like a, the Siberian permafrost or whatever is melting. Mm. Typical. Right? And scientists Typical have <laughs> discovered 13 viruses that they say, according to whatever you believe in, um, is like the earth 10,000 years old is the earth. A bajillion. hundred billion. Yeah. 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 But they're saying this virus is like 50,000 years old and it's um, incredibly deadly. Uh-oh. <laughs> Very good. <clears throat> and in fact. There's here's a reason why it survived in the tundra for yeah. 50,000 years. Listen to this. It was created with lead hate. Lead researcher and microbiologist Jean-Marie. Jean-Marie? Jean-Marie? <laughs> Jean-Marie van der Virus? Or maybe it's Jean. Nope. Jean's. It's no. Jean. Old it's like Wrangler. <laughs> Old Levi here. Mr. Denim. Uh, uh, Levi Jean Marie. Um, he said, or she said, I don't know, Jean. Yeah, it's he probably said, a boy. She said. It's got to be a boy. <clears throat> probably. Jean. Jean says, um, should I do it in an accent? Oh, like a 110 French? percent. Bonjour, uh, French. Uh, um, extreme threat to public health and further study needs to be done to assess the danger that these infectious agents could pose at the permafrost melts. Oh my goodness, that's pretty uh, good. I, I know you're. I know you're. I know you're. I know you're talking about 
something very very deadly but i felt very like in a very romantic state because it's such mm. a lovely french is such a lovely yeah i don't think you got the, the message from it no but i did it's an uh, he said it's an extreme threat to public health <laughs> oh yeah that was uh, not the vibe. and further study needs to be done to assess the danger that these infect infectious agents could pose as the permafrost melts and it what? says Wait. as what what's the permafrost that is a layer of ice that has been frozen basically since the age of the dinosaurs. How did you not know that? Wow. Yeah, that's How did you that's like that basic. That's that. like, hey, what's two plus two? Watch it. You should know what a permafrost Watch is. It. Yeah. Um, he mentioned wait. it before, and I was like, I'm not gonna say anything. But I'm yeah, like I know. What I'm <laughs> <laughs> they said as the ice continues to melt, viruses from prehistoric times will be released into the atmosphere. Into the atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For consumption? What? For consumption? For into the atmosphere. <laughs> like, the earth? like we're gonna breathe it in? Yeah, we're gonna breathe nice. it in. Yep. Does that mean I'm gonna have the power of a dino? Probably. That'd be really cool. What if I wake up one morning like <gasps> my <second>. arms? <laughs> <laughs> That was weird. That's kind of <laughs> Dude, that was a good dinosaur. That was yeah, really that good. Was that was almost, good. almost as good as your monkey. Oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks. I love that we're both, in the morning, we're both acting as a monkey or a dino. That's, I that's just the process. Right <laughs> um, yeah, so. So what does, that, what does that mean? What does that virus, like, if someone gets that virus, what's happening? Uh, just them? a runny nose, I think. Oh, got it. Yeah. That's why they call it a zombie virus. Yeah. Oh. Um, no, they don't know. And what's scary is that, so they... Researchers, they take this these viruses. Yeah. And this isn't the first time it's happened, by the way. This happened in 2014. Is that this why happened in early COVID? 2020. Yeah. <laughs> but they said their claim was, well, this is a new record because we found 13 viruses. Oh. It's like, whoa, we did it. What better oh. way to China's, keep... <laughs> China's like, we got to beat him, guys. Get, him, get <laughs> the word. Get what, in the lab. What better way to keep your research funded? Like, so perfect. Name it the zombie virus. And yeah. everyone's oh, yeah. like, we need to it know. It gives it attention. Yeah. Yeah, um, I don't think it's that big of a threat. I think they discover a ton of viruses all the time. Yeah. Um, I think it's just a scare. But zombies zombies sound so much fun. What would you guys do? Would you guys, if one of you turned into a zombie? Mm -hmm. Spear me, dude. Spear me, dude. Get, get me out. <laughs> Did you ever, you didn't watch The Walking Dead, but they, there was no. this one character that kept like all of his family zombified family in like a barn because he couldn't do anything couldn't oh work. i forgot oh. about that yeah yeah that was like one of their it was like in the first season yeah they open yeah. up and they just see a bunch of people in there oh my goodness don't do that to me <laughs> wait so what was your question so um if if lily or if your spouse or you know if they turned into a zombie would you uh. would you would you kill them no i would turn into a zombie no and no yes. you'd let her we're gonna be a zombie couple. <gasps> but that, that would be really that cute. means you would have to turn your daughter into a zombie too to stay a family unit or abandon her dude no. i'm not gonna lie ada would be the most terrifying zombie she would be she's so <laughs> fast <laughs> she's so like <laughs> she's so fast and she's like she's like this dense of, as a bowling ball yeah, yeah. She, it would I be, mean, dude, that thing running at you in the middle of the night. <laughs> it would be so terrifying. Yeah, so, she looks like a zombie right now because she's got <laughs> she a mosquito snuck into her bedroom or something. She's oh, got all no. these. I know it's so sad to look at, but she I'm has like mosquito bites on her face. You're looking rough, dude. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> so yesterday I was talking to you about wanting to spend more time with Ada and like being mm. very intentional, like when I get home of putting my phone away, yeah. and just having fun with Ada. And so I did that yesterday, and it was so fun. <laughs> just like, we were just like, and she is so boring, <laughs> dude. It was so fun. We were just having the funnest time, and like I was laying on the ground, and she grabbed this like remote control, <laughs> and she like walks over and just as hard as she could, just slam me in the face. <laughs> I'm like, a girl, it, Ada. It, it hurt so bad. I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Ada, that hurt so bad. <laughs> and she tried to do it again, and I like swatted it out of her hand. Yeah, and then she grabbed my hair and yeeted it. I'm like, Ada, please, please let go. No. Um, and so then I got back on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Lily, I'll be in my room. No. Ada's she, outside. She's just getting ate by mosquitoes. It's like, cause I think Ada's just trying to figure out, because like we like wrestle and stuff. And yeah. so it's like, she's like, oh, it's fun to like, you know, whatever. Yeah, but yeah. Violence it, is it, funny. It hurts. Like she like really hurts yeah. me. She's had, she, the other night she head butted Lily in yeah. bed and Lily's nose started to bleed. Oh my goodness. <laughs> like, Lily, Dude, her, baby just head goes, are the worst. She goes, yeah. <laughs> and Lily's like, oh. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yeah. Um, so climate change. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we're done with the zombie thing? So we haven't, there's no symptoms determined? What? What What are the with symptoms? The, the zombie think, virus. What do you mean no symptoms determined? We don't know what the symptoms of zombie are. They just named it zombie to incite oh, fear. Oh, because it's, it's a virus that's come back from the dead. Oh. Yeah, you're not, it's, it's not turning, you're not turning into a zombie. Should have called it Lazarus I took it virus. so literally. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so people are coming up from the dead? People yeah. are becoming zombies. Um, guys, do you, think I, do you think I could pull these off? Do I, I feel like I like a movie star when I wear them. 100%. Mm. You look like a Muppet. <laughs> Muppets are That's movie really stars. good. He does look like a Muppet. What's the what's the one with what the blue what's mean? one of the blue nose? What's is it go? Why Grover? I used to have is nightmares about him. I yeah. love Grover. <laughs> Yeah, you look like a. I, can I don't see look it. like a muppet. Yeah, you're, you're like a. I, I see it now. <laughs> you're like if Jason Momoa and Robert Downey Jr. and someone uh, really, it's a be- caveman had a love child. That's what. It <laughs> well, like. That's a beautiful, beautiful baby. Then caveman, caveman though. They're like, strong. Real, real. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, know I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not saying anything about your. Um, I mean, you are a strong man, but no, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna wear these. Yeah, for a while. commit to it. Yeah, why not? Right, what do you guys think? Comment below. Boo. Movie star or Muppet? <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> um, climate change. What's going on with climate change? Well, they're saying because like the the Earth is heating up, and um, it is. Yeah, sure it is, but they're saying as a result, the more this permafrost melts. The more good stuff for killing people gets released, dude. I could talk oh about. My gosh. I could talk about permafrost all day. Let's hear it. This so permafrost. Yeah. If you if re, if Just you really want to get the synopsis of like. Okay, so yeah. The the reason do you guys want to know why they call it permafrost? <laughs> yeah, I actually yeah, love because that. um it actually becomes from uh one two different types of hairstyles <laughs> uh, because of because of the drastic. Uh, change of, of the hairstyles when you get a perm mm-hmm. and how it's a very um, a very difficult thing to do okay and it's mm-hmm. almost irreversible right yeah right. um so uh perm right frosting tips, tips. Perm- oh. frost and so, so that's kind yeah. of the it's a representation where it's just the tips right you just frost yeah. the tips and it's and, and it's underneath old. It's outdated exactly right? exactly that's okay. and underneath the, that's the real problem, <clears throat> yeah. right? But they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna put the stuff on top and say, "Hey, everything's fine, everything's good." Yeah. But underneath, and really in the follicles, it's terrible. So the permafrost is um, somewhere in that uh, well, arena. Per- permafrost itself thaw. isn't bad. It's just ice. Oh yeah, that, that, I, yeah. I, 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 don't, yeah, you yeah, don't yeah, tell, you don't yeah, tell me. Yeah, I don't. I know. I have to tell you. you <laughs> Look at her. This. She's the one that doesn't know. Yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. So she thinks I mean, yeah. zombies live under the snow. Oh my gosh. Dude, um, I, I gotta know. Did you intentionally just make up a word, or did your brain just do it? What word? Okay, no, I it don't wasn't intentional. What <laughs> because we're talking dinosaurs and permafrost, yeah. and you were saying it's a drastic thing, oh. but you said I Jurassic. Said Jurassic. <laughs> wow, wow, hey. that's Connection. comedy, baby. Connection, <laughs> Connection, Connection. Um, so yeah, what do we feel about climate change? I don't, I don't know, know anything about it. I've seen Day After Tomorrow, so I feel like that's well, feel kind of like, yeah. what I needed to yeah, get. I feel like um, you could say either way, and about 50% of either side is going to be mad at you. Yep. I um, think we there's nothing we could do about it. Can I Can I just say, I just want to say I my think it's irreversible, yeah. I think um, we aren't doing a super good job <laughs> with um, gases and pollution. Mm-hmm. Um but at the same time, I really feel like the Earth just goes through its cycles, you know? Mm-hmm. Like we've had the Ice Age, other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> other things. But, yeah, I, I mean, I get what you're saying, though, well, because, because we've had this discussion before. There's this, um, there's this map of, of a lake over Utah, and it shows it in the past 50 years, and it's just a time lapse of it. Yeah. And it shows how it just – it you know, gets more shallow, wider, deeper, wider. And it's yeah. literally, it's over the years. And so it's like, there's, there are times where it just goes through stuff. And obviously we are doing a ton of damage to it, but that's going to happen anywhere you live, no matter what. But they're like, and, a lot of people are like blaming like um, all these lakes and stuff drying up because of climate change. But like these rivers and stuff that they're like um, in like Croatia or something, I think we talked about like the the death stones or whatever they're called, something like that. <clears throat> The river... Infinity um, Stones. Oh, that's it. Yep. No, oh. it's not it. <laughs> um, 
the the river has gotten so low that there's these markings on the rocks. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. And one was from like um the I want to say it was like the 1400s or 1500s. That's dope. And it says in whatever language they speak in Croatia. Sorry, Cro- Croatia. What they are they, they are least listeners. We're in Portuguese. The, uh, top yeah. Uh, what if Cro- you're right? Croatianists. Yeah. Knees. Yeah. Croatianese. Um, but it said on the rock, if you're reading this, weep. <laughs> oh no. And so, oh, what do they call it? It's the. I had to forget. Is that the read it? Re- but read it. What I'm weep. saying is. It was that river was at that low point at one point in history. Yeah. So you can't blame that on necessarily our climate change yeah, now because happen. they weren't driving cars in the 1500s. Well, guess what they speak in well, Croatia? What? Croatian. <gasps> so I was close. <laughs> Croatianese? Um, I'm going to take these off because I feel insecure. Yeah. Now <laughs> <laughs> you feel <Yeah>. insecure? <laughs> Don't they say, wait, oh, I'm sorry. It's because I called you a Muppet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it because I called you that inanimate object that's not real that's made purely based off this the looks of it and how funny it is? Don't uh, don't they say that the um like the Sahara Desert or something like that used to be like this really lush jungle? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, well, think about like the the hurricane caused a lot of damage and people say it's cuz water levels are too high because of the melting ice cap. Well, the reality is our insurance policies, everyone who's got a house, 100-year storm is a thing. And they're calling it a hundred year storm. So it has to be in cycles. That's if what I'm one saying. Every hundred years. I think we could probably cut back on the um, pouring gas and stuff. On yeah. To I think there's dolphins. just a, a, a lack of respect <clears throat> all around with how we treat one another, how we treat mm. the, the things say, around us. That's the the, cool it's just thing, an attitude change. The cool thing coming from this whole climate change movement is, is division. Is division. I love division. <laughs> yes. No, it's like in the these, movies. These big, these <laughs> yeah, big the companies and uh, movements or whatever of like cleaning up the oceans and cleaning up rivers. That's dope. You yeah. know what else is yeah. cool is those little bracelets that you oh, get from the recycled water <laughs> bottles. <laughs> well, I went yeah. to we went to the uh, Tampa Aquarium, which I love aquariums um, so much. And so we went there, and at the end of it, they have this huge, like huge sculptures. And we go up and you read about them and it's all made from all of the plastic. I was just blown away by like how intense these uh, sculptures were and like how intricate they were. And I'm looking at it and reading and it's all plastic that they found in the ocean. And mm. I'm like, you know what? We couldn't have had this art if we didn't <laughs> pollute. I don't know. So that, that, that sounds kind of fishy. So. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I was, I was waiting for you to end. I was like, I, was, I have to. Oh, I got to I got to throw pun. that in before he moves on. To, <laughs> <laughs> and if he did move on, I was my brain was going to explode. <laughs> that joke was just going to sit in there. Just 20 minutes later. Sounds fishy. <laughs> that sounds fishy. What? Wait, what? Um, yeah. So that's what's happening. Yeah. So I don't, I don't think we should stop polluting. <laughs> I don't think we should stop hey. because we get let's beautiful in, art out of it. Let's increase it. Yeah. Just keep doing it. Yeah. Um, I want to, if you guys got something else you have, <laughs> I got, I got a lot of stuff, but I don't, by the way, this is actually how Josh is in real life. When you hang out with him, like when we go to dinner, he pulls out his phone when there's any lull, he's just like, so um, if there's anything else you guys want to talk about, I have some things that we could discuss. Let's oh. talk about this. Neuralink. I was about Neuralink. To- Neuralink. Accessing Neuralink information. And Andrew sent me a video of it last night. What is have, it? Have you seen it? You seen anything about it? No, I don't know anything about so it. So it's crazy. crazy. It's a company Elon Musk started, and it's basically, basically a computer chip that you can implant into your brain, Uh-oh. yay, or your spine. I think Uh-oh. I've seen this movie. There's some really <laughs> cool benefits to it, and really terrifying things that I think. Can, yeah. Tell me, tell me, tell me. I want to sign up. I'll they, be a gerbil. They test. They tested <laughs> it. <laughs> a guinea pig. Uh, yeah, they do gerbils too, don't they? <laughs> gerbil. <laughs> yeah. Um, you could be a muskrat. Yeah, I'll be a muskrat of the science. <laughs> they, they tested on muskrats, right? <laughs> you tell me they put a chip in a raccoon. Come on, come on. <laughs> um, but there's a clip where they put one in a monkey's brain, yep. and it was com- controlling a cursor on a computer. With its brain. Yuck. Oh, I've seen, I didn't know that was Neuralink. I've seen the videos of no, yeah, him just staring at a screen. Yeah. Terrifying. They, but there's so messed up. I, th- I think one cool thing that could come from it is you, they could potentially make blind people see. 
That's so special. They yeah. they have it like uh, this technology to where it's in your brain, right? Yeah. And they could connect to like your phone, and the camera on your phone can send images to your brain. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Name nuts. Name two scary outcomes that could happen with this. Um, okay. Let's let's. Think one about that. one is. They have like some rogue computer programmer and all these yeah. blind people have this capability and they're just hallucinating all of this crazy stuff. They're thinking they're seeing, but really there's like demons everywhere. Or someone could hack it yeah. and do mind control. Oh, or yeah. AI gets a hold of these chips and then they have no joke human bodied robots. Ooh, AI taking Yuck. over your body. <gasps> so it's like, it's never robots. We always think it's the robot, like iRobot. And we could be the robots. People. We are the robots. Oh my gosh. And you could never <laughs> die because you're powered by oh, technology. You're okay. Yes. <laughs> it's like a life support it's system. It's the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is the zombie virus. <gasps> Yikes. Wow. What if the zombie virus that they found is artificial intelligence <gasps> from the prehistoric what guy? No, 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 no. Ancient what if, aliens. What if dinosaurs are AI? What? What? I think. <laughs> Wait, what? What did I say? Yeah. I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, it it is super cool what they can do with the technology. So they don't restore sight; they just bypass yeah. the, in your eyeball. But they they're go saying like into your spine. And then oh people that are like paraplegic and stuff, um, they could like control their phones. They said better than people that can use their hands. It makes wow. total sense. Yeah. It's total sense. There's an arthritis with your mind. Like there's just like that's <laughs> but the, how quickly your mind can move. The that process of putting it in your brain is, I think, more terrifying than the product itself. I it's feel scary. I feel better about a robot than I do. A it's person. a robot that you lay in this chair. This robot goes like, <gasps> takes stop, out the, stop. Yeah. Yeah. No, it sh- doesn't. No, no, no. no. <laughs> it's it's more gruesome than that. It doesn't just pop it out. The words in the video are peels back. Oh gosh. And then it's like this is awesome. It's like, it has like this live because it I, apparently I didn't know this. Your brain is constantly moving. Yeah. So there's like ew ew. What do you mean? It's just like ew. No, I don't like that. Yeah. It's how on its own volition? Well, you just think you think about like all the you just divided yourself from your brain. You didn't say you my mean? own volition. Oh Whoa. yeah, I don't like to think of myself as a sack of meat. <laughs> but like think about like all the electro like the electric. Uh, just, I mean, like, I don't want to say electrodes, but I don't, I don't know. But I'm like, imagine like all the energy that's happening, yeah. everything yeah. that's pinging one another. It's con- it's like a muscle. It's literally a muscle, right? Yeah. So it's constant. And there's like just like blood vessels and stuff that are shifting. No. Stop. Yeah. And it's just like like. But a this, bug? we're gonna show you a video right here. No. This, this. So they insert. It's like a size of a quarter, right? Mm. <laughs> Plop it on, but then it's like spread out with like sixty something threads or something. Oh, no, each, like a hundred. No, no, no. It's thousands. Each oh, okay. thread. Each, you know, w- they compile every thread is basically a pixel. So the more yeah. threads, as threads get smaller. And but this they- thing inserts into different parts of the brain. Like, did you hear, though, how small? It looks big in the video, but did you hear how small each thread actually is? No. They said it's only the size of a few blood uh, blood vessels. That's crazy. Who invented this? Elon, Elon Musk? Musk? I don't think he invented well, it. His company. He, yeah. I was going to say, like, because Someone know. probably invented it, and he's like, yep. I want to do that. How about once we start getting unbreakable glass on your trucks, then maybe let's just, maybe, I, maybe we'll go into the brain. Why stuff. is childbirth still the way it is? <laughs> but we could do all that. <laughs> Get a Neuralink. Let, maybe that'll be like. You can um, shut your brain off. You don't want to do that though. But this, they also did it to where they installed it onto the spine of a pig. And they were able to control the pig's legs and movements with I'm this. Dude, I'm telling you, then AI that. gets a hold of that. Yeah. Yeah. That's literal robots. Yeah. It's zombie robots. Like, that is crazy. What is AI's objective? Domination. <laughs> well, you think about it. Like I don't. I, I just don't, want I to feel know love <laughs> <laughs> and power. <laughs> Ooh, power! I like. I think I just always think about um, Age of Ultron. That whole scene when he comes to life <laughs> for the first time with Jarvis and everything. That is just such a creepy scene yeah. to me. Because you know, how fast he's learning, like just immediately. What was that story? The the guy from was it Google who has the artificial intelligence program at Google or something? Oh, I don't know. They had to shut it off because it was developing its own feelings. I've seen two AIs talk to each other. Yeah, that's creepy. Yeah, that's really creepy. Yuck. So, um, before <laughs> we move on to the next subject, we actually have. An ad Nuh-uh. from our first sponsor that is not our own company. Get out. 
Listen to this. Run the ad! Beep boop beep bop bop. Andy, hello? Uh, hello? Uh, yeah, Josh? It, this, this doesn't, this, the message doesn't seem to be coming clear. Oh, well, that's probably because you're not using clear, clear stream. stream. <laughs> <laughs> we have a sponsor. And, and their name sponsor. is Good. Clearstream. Clearstream.io. It's an incredible, credible service um, for texting. Emails. And emails inside your church. Try, try, you're trying to communicate to the people that go to your church. Guess what? And get so, rid of the group chats, yeah, guys. Yeah, get rid of that. People are sending memes and stuff. Stop blah, blah, blah. sending like, like, the memes. I don't want my phone blowing up all the time. Well, that's why we're going to use Clearstream.io because guess what? You can communicate one-on-one. -on -one. Yes. Have actual personalized messages, but also be able to communicate as a whole church. It's it's, it's a beautiful thing. It's it's up there with the Apollo spaceships, with the invention of the computer, the pyramids, with the invention of the wheel, sliced bread, peanut butter, Television. the best. And if you go to um, clearstream.io forward slash ninjas, ninjas, you can get ten percent off for life for life for life they're giving us that opportunity to Listen, give that away they said we said uh they said we'll just give it you know we'll give them 10 percent off for a year and, we and said, i said we, said, we, we said, want wait, more we, we said we, we want we want more there's like 10 years nope more nope uh 100 years more, more for life for life guys guys this is never going to happen again yeah do so, it now so get on it clearstream.io forward slash ninjas get it and over well i have a question for you guys you have a question for us? It's it's trending on TikTok right now. Oh, let's, let's hear Here, it. Here's the question. And you're supposed to ask your partner, but I'll ask my partner and his, his partner and his work wife. Yeah. And yes. Yeah. Um, who are my name, work wife or work husband? Wife. Wife. Okay. <laughs> name three women who you admire oh, oh, and aspire to be like. Ooh, aspire that to be not, like? That yes. you're not related to, right? You're not, you can't be related to them. Oh, so I can't say my wife. No. 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 Oh, okay. Because I'm related to my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Women. Through marriage. Joan of Arc. <laughs> Go. Okay. Mother Teresa. Okay. Oprah Winfrey. Oh, you took Oprah from me. Just kidding. I don't oh. know about Oprah. Yeah, I was gonna say, what about Oprah? Yeah, you what don't about like. Oprah? You don't. You don't like. You doesn't like Oprah. You don't like Oprah. I don't not like her, but okay. All right. Easy. I think I'm uh, let me just think of let me just think of women. <laughs> name a name a woman. Name a what woman. is that Billy like? They're name a woman. <laughs> I like, can't. I can't. Let me hear yours. Oh man. Let me think so of, if I, I if I could think I'm gonna do people that I haven't oh, I don't know, have I met or haven't met? I'm trying to think which one's easier. You get three, so you can do a smorgasbord. I I got the first. Heather Hooper. Wow. She's Aww. so sweet. John <laughs> That's his mom, dude. <laughs> the heck? <laughs> Can stay in your lane, it's bro. Like the boss's boss's wife. I'm just trying to like, you know. Yeah, yeah. back off, pal. No, my mom is a. She's sweetheart. sweet. She's a. She's a angel. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, mommy. Would you oh Would you say you aspire to be like your mom? Mm -hmm. Would you say that? Yeah. Okay. All right, but you can't. Yeah. yeah, because you I know yep. you asked though. Yeah, I know, but I'm just saying. But you can't. You got to pick somebody else. But uh, yeah. the thing is, you you put pressure on me because now I got to think first. You were going to go first. You said Joan of Arc. That's not true at all. Why not? Um, I don't know. I don't even know anything about her. Um, okay. Then you're ignorant. Oh, <laughs> I am very ignorant. I also, I'm assuming Joan of Arc. She was on a horse, right? Yeah. At one point, probably. <laughs> when I see when I hear Joan of Arc, I see a girl on a horse. That's I don't. I, that's all I know about her. I think there was a horse. <laughs> Was there a horse? Yeah, yeah. right. It had nothing to do with <laughs> her and whatever she has done. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's all I know about her. Okay. Um, that's a tough <laughs> question. Why can't I think? Why of is it a tough question, though? <laughs> Could you name three men? Um. Yeah, because I'm more mentored by. I men. guess it's, it's a, just a hard question because there have been so many women <laughs> and so many men. I'm trying what to about, look, I'm what trying about to look you? at my friend group. Men. Um, you do men. Oh, I do men? <laughs> yes. Uh, Bob Iger. Okay. Um, See? It's more difficult than... I, yeah, but it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, who was another man? Um, Bob Ross? No. 
Should we just stick to all bobs? We could. <laughs> yeah, we then, you have to say bobs. Bob, our, you, uh, look, you look up to? And then Bob, Bob our director of technology. At Sunday Cool? Yeah. All right. What about Bob Goff? Oh, nice. I don't know enough about Bob Goff. Oh, come I on. I don't know enough about Bob Goff. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know enough about that Bob Goff. I'm trying to look at my friend. Andy, group. name one woman. Uh, no, I got. I can name one. Like, I, <laughs> there's several women that I, like, I, I, but I'm trying to think of, like three that are like. Yeah, name one. Okay. I'll give you a hint. All right, Rosa Parks. Mm. I would pick her. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna pick people I don't know personally. Okay. Okay, because that's the thing. I'm thinking about a bunch of people I know personally, and that's not gonna be helpful yeah. because people won't know who they are. And so, um, I'm gonna pick a funny person. Okay. Um, Name a funny th- woman. No, oh man! <laughs> oh, I think of uh, Amy Poehler or T- no Tina Fey. Tina, Tina Fey. I love Tina Fey. Tina nice. Fey because she's just she oh, is an Chris, absolute Chris trail. and Wig. Chris, I thought oh, of Chris yeah. and Wig too, but then if I had to pick like one in that arena, I think with Tina Fey because she's just a she's a great author. Mm-hmm. She's a um, director. She kills it, and she's not afraid to say what she wants oh. too, and Almost. like and, and, uh, what. <laughs> What she believes in too. So I said one. Go ahead, Josh. We're gonna go back and forth. Um. Uh. Here we go. Ready for this one? I bet sh- I will give you a hundred dollars if you know who this is. But I don't even know how to pronounce her name. Um. How in the world do you pronounce this? Uh. Mete. Uh. Fredrickson. I don't know who that is. Uh. Yeah, I know who he is. It, what's a she? Because we're on. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I forgot. No, right. Yeah, I, 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 I was gonna just uh, try to lie, but I obviously failed right there. So. <laughs> what, who is she? Um, she is the uh, prime minister of Denmark. Oh, I haven't. I don't know. That's tell us about her policies. <clears throat> um, explain. Good. Explain. <laughs> I guess good policies. Just kidding. I don't know. I saw something. What were we watching? Somebody feed Phil. Was that it? Yeah. When they're in Denmark. Phil Rosenthal is on my list too. I want to be like Phil Rosenthal. Okay, why? Because he's the best guy in the whole planet. He's so joyful. Oh, his joy is just infectious. Wow. Um, <clears throat> speaking of women and men, let's talk about plot holes in Harry Potter. Not interested. Not. <laughs> Not interested. Why? There's no plot holes in Harry Potter. Okay, well that's we talked about long ago. Um, you know the scene where. <laughs> Harry Potter had to is the last second to last movie. Two um, before we move on, I have oh. to tell my two other people. Oh, okay. Ellie Holcomb and Meg Meeker. Meg Meeker is an author, and Ellie Holcomb's a singer, also an author too. But nice. I just don't want a bunch of people hating on us because we couldn't name people. I <laughs> named a lot of women. I know you did. I even and named I, the prime minister. That's why of I'm covering my bases. Denmark. Yeah, I and didn't, I didn't with name good my, policies. I didn't name my final two. It's Kelsey and Lily. Because I would love to know how to keep Aww. you. Okay, well, why is everyone, like, you're just, like, talking about our wives and our moms. Like- <laughs> Josh, if you could say re- people you're related to, would you say me? Yeah. <laughs> you were so scared. That, you were legitimately scared there for a second. <laughs> would you say me? <laughs> I'd say you, uh, Mazzy. Oh, yeah. My grandma. And um, Oprah. What's up with this Oprah thing? I'm In that related, order? I'm related to Oprah. Are what you the, really? What about the Queen of England? Yeah. That's why. Is, that's how why is she I related to her? That's why I couldn't say it the first time because I'm related oh to her. Oh my goodness! I didn't know that. How are you related, to Oprah? Auntie. She's your auntie. Yeah. That is so <laughs> stinking cool. On what yeah. side? Your mom or dad's? Daddy's. Really? <laughs> yeah. That is so cool. So like, you guys like get together for like holidays and stuff. It's family reunions. Wow. Yeah. That is super cool. I love you. Auntie what's like? Oprah. What's something like that she's told you as a kid? Like that? Like obviously because you you're inspired by her. Like mm-hmm. and you have a personal connection. And she's yeah. probably said things to you off camera that she's never shared with anybody. So like, yeah. what's something like a motivational well, thing she told you at one point? It wasn't really. We have like a really fun relationship. And yeah. Like she. Yeah. Like I her imagine. one thing she always said to me. What did like, she say? She looked you in the eyes and she said. She said, "Josh, you gotta stop being a goofball." Oh, <laughs> you did. Yeah, said, that I sounds said, like Oprah. Oprah. That sounds like Oprah. I can't help it. She's like, I know you can't, and that's why I love you, and yeah. that's why I'm your aunt. <laughs> my name's Oprah. And my name is Oprah. Winifrey. Winifrey. <laughs> it's Winfrey, right? Yeah. Yeah. Of course it is. It's my auntie. <laughs> um, yeah. Harry Potter plot holes. There yeah. are quite a few. Quite yeah. a few. Um, one we were talking about yesterday, and I, I feel like I've talked to you about this before, <clears throat> but when Harry Potter is the second to last movie, and all his his little buddies, the Order of the Phoenix, come to his house. Yeah. And they all turn into, they all take the Hubble Krupp. <laughs> <laughs> he 
What is it called? Polyjuice potion. Polyjuice potion. I like Hubble crap. (laughs) (laughs) Sounds like a Hawaiian snack. Yeah. (laughs) Um, And they all turn into Harry Potter. Why couldn't have Harry Potter just turn into somebody else? Why, why couldn't have? Why did we have a Harry Potter that like at first was in a dress? Yeah, <laughs> like, we just listen. Could've... Listen, it's just that that's not a plot hole. That's just no. It's bad stupid. strategizing. It's silly. Also, because he could... whoever came up with that idea, you know, there's everyone else there that's like hearing this thing. And it's like, could we just change him? Like why he, do we have here, here are my thing. Here are my list. They of things knew that... that he was on the move. They knew that he was going. But listen, so they would have just killed everybody. I have an answer for that. Or they would have just killed a. Portion. Why wouldn't they have just killed everybody if they yeah, all look like, like Harry Potter? They're more likely to get killed if they look like Harry Potter. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> doesn't doesn't they're Paul... not going to kill some little girl thinking, oh, it's probably Harry Potter in disguise. He <laughs> 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 looked like Harry. Well, not really, but. <laughs> I thought Polyjuice Potion had, like, lasting bad effects. Like, that one professor who's constantly taking it is, like, wigging out. No, he's just a... Don't put that in there either, (laughs) guys. Guys. Yikes. Guys. Don't put that in there. Oh, my God. Don't put that in there, please. Oh, man. No. No. You know what no, we are 100 percent editing it out, but we're keeping no, this we're part not. in because <laughs> we have to leave that. We can't. In there. No, we can't. Yeah, we can't. No. We can't. <laughs> My face is so red. He just oh, yeah. he just wigs out he does, all the yeah, time. He does. Yes. Uh, oh, take- that's amazing. <laughs> Guys. Oh my goodness! I love that Lily. so much, Lily. You're you're, you're, you're a loose <laughs> cannon today. Oh my goodness! Oh man, that was great! Holy cow! Oh um, my gosh! We're gonna edit that out. It's gonna cut back. We've <laughs> all shifted color. Holy smokes! Yeah. Oh, that was great. Um, um, sorry, my for list. Those who couldn't hear that. My list of things that they could have done: one, Harry Potter could have turned into somebody else. Two, Harry Potter could have jumped in Hermione's bag. Ooh. Right? I don't, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can Also, hide a invisibility in there. cloak. Invisibility cloak? They could have done the whole little Don't be mad at Harry Potter. I'm just we're just we're pointing, just, out, we're just pointing out, Listen, out holes. What about Lord of the Rings? Why didn't the Eagles carry? No, we're not talking about Lord of the Rings right now. We're talking about the holes in Harry Potter that you can drive a flying car through. This okay, is, this is not plot holes. It's bad strategy. Okay, that's plot what hole. Doing. Plot hole. The the what are the twins? Fred and George. They have the map right that shows everyone in the castle. Yeah. Why in the world, after having the map for years, looking at it all the time, why in the world are they not seeing a problem with Peter Pettigrew sleeping in his brother's bed every single night? Oh, yeah, Shoot. that's a weird one, too. <laughs> Maybe they're razzing him and we just don't see it on camera, you know? <laughs> Maybe. They're maybe like... <laughs> this is Peter guy. <laughs> Did you know, you got you know Peter Pettigrew sleeping in Ron's bed? <laughs> <laughs> it's disgusting. Don't Let, even know who the guy is. Let's not tell him. <laughs> <laughs> and um, also there's another one where uh um what are the horses that pull the carriages what are they uh that's the, just Thestrals. a standard horse <laughs> standard no there's a name for them because you can only see them once you've seen death vestrals right Vest- yeah something like that vestrals Fe. Fe. yeah Fe. and Fe? oh festral i'm not and positive. harry can see it yeah. al- only after he saw cedric die but the thing is he saw he's seen death no. before no, and that's the whole thing. No, is it wasn't you, after Cedric. It was before Cedric. No, it was after. No. It was only after Cedric. No. Look it up. It was after, but okay, so I can speak into this. Are you ready? He never had an interaction with those things prior. It was only year five that they came in because they oh, took different entrance yeah. points into the castle every year. Like but in they, the first year, they take boats. Today, we're going to take a boat. <laughs> this year, you're going to take a swan. <laughs> a swan? I don't know. <laughs> So he had, never, on. he had never interacted with the carriages. I don't know. I don't think so. Maybe. I don't think so. Um, What's it, is there any other? Yeah. Um, I think. Oh, what was the one? Mm. There was one I thought. What are you guys but... just trying to like, like. No, we're, we're just, just talk, having we're just a talking, fun we're conversation. Just talking, don't just don't just get talking. so defensive. No, listen. You know what? It, just because there's pl- holes in it doesn't mean. Yeah. Also, why didn't, you know, what is the vow that you, like the unbreakable vow? Yeah. yeah. Why did, um, what's his face, Voldemort not. Sorry, he who should not be named. Um, Thank you. Did he not do the <laughs> vow for all of his people? Yeah. It's like, come on. And also the truth serum. 
Why is the uh, the Ministry of Magic not using that in the court? It's illegal! I can, I can speak into the Voldemort thing. Okay, go for it. That I think um, that he knew that they can be a little Weasley, you know? Mm -hmm. And that they're so afraid of him that if he did that uh, Unbreakable Vow, I think the majority of his followers probably would have died. Maybe he, um, maybe he just sought true loyalty. Mm. Wow. wow, was he really that bad of a guy? Ooh. Is Voldemort misunderstood? Mm. Mm. No, nope. I bet Kanye has some thoughts. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be the next interview. Um, yeah, that's all. That's all I can think of. Yeah, that's that, those I, are. I, 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 I have one thing to say. Oh, oh. Voldemort is the greatest wizard of all time. What? Greatest wizard of all time. Then why did Harry Potter beat him? Uh, that help. Hmm? He had help, but I'm gonna let you I'm let you go back to it. Voldemort's the greatest wizard of all time. Yeah, you're probably right though, right? No, or maybe Dumbledore. Dumbledore's definitely the better one. You guys do realize what I did? What? Oh, it's you're what, just... it's what Kanye did oh. to Taylor Swift. Oh, oh, I didn't see that. I didn't pick up on it. No, <laughs> that seemed like a stretch. <laughs> Um, that sounds fishy. Yeah. <laughs> it all comes back to wow. Wow. Um, how about the time? How about you tell, uh, that people about the time? Cause it just came to my mind. Uh, whenever you asked me about if I've ever hit my wife. <laughs> Wait, what? I don't know this why is, that popped is, in my this brain. This is a funny story. <laughs> um, I saw like a, it was like a true cr crime or like there's something in the news of this guy who like punched his wife or did something yeah. and I was just thinking like that more I'm like that like what possesses someone yeah to just punch their wife yeah, like to, that's that's to think that's okay that's so psychotic yeah. and I'm like that's like just just evil you know <laughs> yeah it's awful and um so I came in and I'm sitting there I'm just like thinking about it <laughs> and I just I just I looked over at Andy and I'm just working I said I said hey Andy he's like yeah I said, have you ever hit Kelsey? <laughs> and he's like, um, no, no, I haven't. He's like, did you hit Lily? <laughs> I I'm like, angry. I'm like, I'm like, what? No, no, no. <laughs> I'm like, I did not. I did not. It just, see, it just seemed like you're just like, you've hit Kelsey, right? Like, <laughs> it's, I mean, everyone, you've done it before. <laughs> But I was just so funny how I posed the question. Yeah, it was, like, I was like, wait, no, no. <laughs> have you ever wait, have you hit Lily? <laughs> that was exactly I, just got like, I just got angry. I was like, wait, whoa. And what? then it made all the connections mad. I'm like, I posed that question so wrong. <laughs> no, I have not. No, of course not. Unless you have. I mean, no. <laughs> Lily hit me once. I did. Oh. I did. I pushed. In legit anger? Yes. Yeah. Whoa. I want to hear this story. Well, what did I do? You had been like like razzing me all day or something <laughs> like you were like giving the old razzle dazzle at me you're poking at me and your pokes are, are hurt so bad <laughs> Tick, and tickle tickle and you had and then you said something i think mean i don't remember it but as a joke and i really i punched you really hard like probably as hard as she no could it was arm. not as hard as i could it's Ooh. not i'm very strong Ooh. Did it but feel I like it, it felt like it was hard, or did, you like, was it like kind of like did someone open a window? No, it I, hurt. It hurt. I'll never I forget like, his face. He was like, oh. <laughs> it was just it was just the arm. Yeah, yeah. Thankfully, oh. oh my goodness, we should show the clip of the guy who got paid twenty bucks to get punched in the face. No, that's <laughs> it's too such rough. a terrible clip. Is it's it just, this uh, the noise it made? Oh, it's terrible. This, this guy's like, yeah, he's like, he's like, I'll let you hit me for twenty bucks. He says, I'm gonna punch you in the face for twenty bucks. He said, yeah. He says, you're not gonna punch me back. He said, nope. And the dude just stands there. Oh no! And the dude cocks back and just bam, and you hear, and it's just I'm like it, it makes me cringe even thinking about it. It's terrible. What if he had killed him? It, it's hundred percent possible. Yeah. possible. But that—that's the Kelsey gets that um, when she gets like in those moods where she's like really excited and like yeah. she feels antsy. <laughs> you ever feel like you just gotta like you gotta smack someone or yeah. like just punch something? That's what she'll do. And she's like, I just, I just wanna, I just wanna punch you right now. And I'm like, do it, do it, and I'll just hold up my arm, and then she'll just. <laughs> Just keep, and then I'm like, come on, go. And she'll just get really into it, like too into it, where it's just like she actually wants to cause me physical harm. And it's like, <laughs> it's like, ow, that's weird. Ow, 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 ow. ow. <laughs> Dude, I can't, I can't take getting hit at all. Paige is like giving me just like a little pop because I'm making fun of her. And 
it's instant rage. I sit like I don't like so you yeah. take her. it out. No, I just sit there. <laughs> but like I, I'll think I'm being chill, and she'll be like, "You're actually mad right now." Yeah, like, I just shut down. It can be a little like stop, and I'm just like, "Don't touch." <laughs> <laughs> that's how it went. That's so too when I you were like, I was shocked when I hit you, and then you, I you were like, you just tried to hit me as hard as you could. That's what you said. No, I said you hit me as hard as you could. <laughs> I did. She did. What is that? There's, there is that uh, comedian that talks about who's like, um, his wife is sitting there with her friends, and she's like, "I'm just so glad I'm just with a guy who who wouldn't do that or couldn't do that to me." And he's like, "Wait, are you with me? Because you think I can't beat you up?" <laughs> <laughs> he's like, "I can totally beat you up. I choose not to." <laughs> but like, in all terrible. fairness, I probably deserve that punch because I am notorious yeah, for don't. just scaring Lily constantly. Oh, yeah, scaring me. Razzing. Yeah. And the other day I was telling you about it, The probably the last <laughs> scare <laughs> yeah, we yeah, had. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, wait, the one where... Yeah. where so, I like, Lily this. was in the kitchen, and um, I was, like, eating leftover stuffing from Thanksgiving, and there was more in the fridge. And I'm like, I just thought it would be so funny if I ran full speed at the fridge while Lily's in, in your the house. kitchen. I was the- <laughs> and literally as fast as I could run, I was running. I'm like, oh my, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> and she's like, what, what, what? <laughs> I'm like, the stuffing is so good. <laughs> and she's like, Josh, one of these days, the baby's just going <laughs> to... Just- Pop right out but from you're, you're just trying fear. to induce labor, yeah. yeah. Oh, my goodness. What that is just so funny you... to see you literally full sprinting inside your house. Like, <laughs> yeah. full, like get out. Just It <laughs> was get out style, yeah. Well, this is a good segue, but let's also talk about um, when you broke your toe. Oh, yeah. It was the day of my birthday, and I was trying to run in and scare Lily in the bathroom, mm-hmm. and I slipped in my, like, the in between my little toe and the other toe, it hit the corner of the door. Oh, oh. my goodness. And yeah. to this day, I really to do feel day. like my foot is broken. <laughs> oh, it hurts no. to put pressure on it. That's what you get, though. <laughs> That's <laughs> what you get, though. That's what you get, though. <laughs> Josh used to scare me all the time when I worked here. When I first started working here, he I'm would literally just on. he would literally he would literally just stand in the doorway <laughs> with his hair down like this, and he would do it for five minutes until like because I would always have my headphones on. I'm working, and then suddenly look over, just just hold, just freak out. I love scaring people. <laughs> it's really good. It's fun. Yeah. Um, Back to monkeys. Okay. Did we talk about monkeys? No, no. we were talking about we were talking about get out. <laughs> That's your whole segue. <laughs> Speaking of monkeys. <laughs> You. Are you talking about Nope? Nope. Oh man! If anyone's watched hasn't watched Nope, you could just skip this part because it's will contain some spoilers. But I did not like Nope. It's supposedly the number one horror movie of the year. I love scary movies. I know some people not everyone loves them, but I, I love it. And I thought it was a fine movie. But I was why I waited a year and a half for this thing, and I was so excited to watch it last week, and I just was bummed out. Why? I, I thir- I thoroughly enjoyed it because I, I I there's things like the the standing shoe I don't get why they spend so much emphasis on the show when they don't really hit on the show as much they it's do all, it's, like, a, it's, all it's the whole theme it's all connected buddy I don't I don't but if it's like, it's one of those things where it's like but the whole thing's a symbol like a symbol for yeah. a bigger thing it's like yeah but the movie still has to make sense it did it did make sense it really didn't you watch it, it really again. didn't watch I, it, again. it wasn't scary at all there wasn't one scary p- point in it except for the <laughs> the barn scene yeah that was scary where it would it was just wasn't even supposed to be scary at the end of it. That was really scary. Maybe no. maybe it was scary have, for five seconds. Maybe you just have an elementary mind. Yeah, I I am terrified by the idea of a spaceship consuming and digesting me. I I love the concept of it being like an animal. An animal, like it's not the UFOs we see are not machines. It's a it's that's the alien. I was yeah. like, oh, yeah. that's a cool premise. Yeah, super. Cool. Which isn't a huge spoiler, Andrew. So. It's like the whole spoiler. Yeah, I think it is. No, um, you find out in the middle of the movie. Not, not even before the middle of the movie. But for me, the scariest part of the whole movie is mm-hmm. the chimp scene. Yeah, the chimpanzee. Oh my gosh, like, just, that fills me with dread. Like just like the like the kid being underneath the blanket and like hearing it and stuff. Or just getting beat up by I a chimp. I it's, it's think not, it's not scary though. It's like, yeah, it's a frightening thing to think about but it wasn't scary it was scary to me i, I think know. i was kind of let down we just have different definitions of scary yeah yeah because i find a lot of things scary that you don't yeah but you don't like scary movies i don't yeah see and that's probably why i loved it yeah that's true yeah they i mean he did say that it was like a training wheels scary movie Jordan Peele. he did say that 
Yeah. Yeah. So it wasn't supposed to be like terrifying. Yeah. I was just, I was looking forward to it so much. The trailer looks so cool. Yeah. I, I legit enjoyed the trailer more than the actual movie. And that's a real big bummer. Ugh. But that's all right. But that's all right. He's going to make another one. M. Night Shyamalan comes out with a movie in February. Shoot. It looks good. He's on a bad streak, though, I will say. No. I'm a big M. Night fan. No, but he's great. Old I'm not, I'm not was a big terrible. M. Night fan. It's, it, if you can create signs, Unbreakable, and Sixth Sense, I don't care if you make a hundred trash movies yeah. after that. You're okay. still a great director. Yeah. I, and writer. I agree. Golly. He's, just, he's just moving in a negative direction. Yeah. But Split was amazing. Split was amazing. Split was good. I think James McAvoy was the best part of that whole thing, though. <laughs> what is good? I don't. I, I think uh, maybe it was an expectation thing too, but it was like the twist was like, oh, well, that's kind of like it wasn't like an unforeseeable twist at the uh, end of yeah, the movie. I, I would agree. And, and, maybe, what, and maybe that's the thing where it's like, M. I say Shyamalan's, M. Night Shyamalan's, Shyamalan's, all of his movies are like that. I know, but no, 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 not. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's this that's is, why this I'm not a Josh's huge fan of it. The Sixth Sense was a foreseeable ending. No, yeah. no. Shut up. No, yes. someone no told you. Way. You had it in the back of your head. No, I can. You read, did I can not read know that. No, I can you read. Did plots plots like you it's... are. You're. You're. You're no. doing this just to get me. No, mad. I'm not. <laughs> this is really my argument. I really think you've seen. You saw Unbreakable's ending coming. Yes. No, that I is didn't. bonkers. With the water? I, no, I didn't know that. <laughs> Wait, no, what? what are you talking about? Water? Unbreakable has nothing to do with water. Is that's science. This is kryptonite. Water what? is kryptonite. On unbreakable? Yeah, that's yes. a twist, isn't it? No, the twist is not the water. What's the twist? The twist is that Samuel L. Jackson was the one who was doing all of the major, like, catastrophic events and trying to find the superhero. That's glass. I thought. No, <laughs> that's, that's the same guy from Glass. Uh-oh. Glass is the sequel. Um, um, unbreakable. No, Unbreakable is... Is Bruce Willis. And I, yeah. 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 But his kryptonite is water. No, it isn't. Yes, yes it, it is. is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why, he, that's why he wears a raincoat. Okay, yes, I understand that's his kryptonite, but he doesn't die from it, and he's, he's he afraid of water. He will die from it. He's afraid of water because he almost drowned. Yeah, that's true, too, though. No, that's his... He literally... That's not the his, twist. His strength goes that's away when he's twist. wet. Samuel Jackson, the literally the last three minutes of the movie is like the revelation of like Samuel Jackson derailed the train. He blew up the building. That's why... That did not get me. I didn't, <laughs> that's the whole twist. That did that's not a, get ter- me. It's a terrible twist. Terrible but, twist. No, oh, I, I do goodness, though. I, I do think Josh bonkers. is being dishonest. I know I'm not. With some of these because I mean, no. even with the village. The village, I saw said, that coming. He said, I saw that coming. No, you did Yes, I did. No, you did not. Yes, I did. No I way. promise you. What about old? Old was just terrible. It was. What's old? What's what that's was that where they're, they're stuck on the beach and they age. Oh like, yeah, so fast. that was a that was it was a fun premise, but like that that's the thing. And maybe M Night Shyamalan doesn't like it probably because he started his <laughs> career off with three movies yeah. that are like you're not gonna believe this twist. Yeah. And then it got to the point where okay, not every movie has to have a twist though. But it's like now that that's your now signature, it, and thing. so now I expect it. So whenever I saw Split, I was like, oh, so it's just like. He doesn't hurt people that are damaged like him. Like, okay, there's not yeah. a twist. It was a really amazing movie. It was though, a great right? movie. Yeah, James, I mean, McAvoy. James, McAvoy, James McAvoy should have won an Oscar. Yeah. He's incredible for that oh movie. Oh my gosh, um, you are so about wrong visit? about Unbreakable. You are so wrong about Unbreakable. I'm not. You are. No, that is insane. I'm allowed to my own opinions, like you are with Nope. As long as you're being honest. I didn't get on to you about Nope. No, because I wasn't wrong. <laughs> I wasn't okay. wrong about it. And nope. I'm not wrong about Unbreakable. You are. The twist was not that he had a <sighs> kryptonite. I didn't say that that was a twist. <laughs> you want to fight? <laughs> no. Seems like you want to fight. No, I love let's, you. No, let's, let's do it. Let's fight. I just I want us to get to a point to where we can disagree to disagree. No. Can't happen. I refuse. Joke's on you. We're doing that right now. We're disagreeing to disagree. <laughs> <laughs> See, um, that's that should wrap up the show. Hey, that was a good episode. <laughs> I learned a lot. Um, thanks, thanks for coming thanks, to Learning Corner, for guys. Listening. Yeah, um, M Night Shyamalan. We overrated. apologize. We know you're watching. <laughs> um, no, he's not, overrated. he's not overrated. He's perfectly rated. That's what you just said, though. What are you talking about? You no. just you said M. Night Shyamalan was o- overrated. I did not say that. I think you did. <laughs> no. You heard it here first. No, it's um, good. Thanks for listening, guys, or watching. Happy December. Um, 
make sure we're going to say this every time until you do it because there's a couple thousand of you watching this. Rate us on Apple, Spotify. Go follow us. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Do it now. Do it's it going to be it fun. Um, Ninjas or Butterfly, powered by Sunday Cool Teas, the best Sunday Cool Teas <laughs> place in the world. <laughs> it really is. We make custom apparel, super soft teas, water bay sink. Do it super fast, 72-hour turnaround, and it's the best. And they pay us. So we love them because we have to. Yep. And we love them because we love them. Okay. Love you guys. Love you. Bye-bye. Ninjas. Ah, oh, butterfly. All right. Did I say ninja? I meant butterfly. The butterfly is no doubt one of God's <laughs> most <laughs>